Have y'all ever watched those uh, liquid egg white things cook? What they look like. Probably turn this down. <laughs> turn that down. Don't want my egg whites to burn. Yeah, that they're like, what? Beth is doing egg whites? Yeah, I'm doing egg whites. Worry, I'm gonna slap some cheese on them. Yeah, I know my stove is filthy. See my Rainforest Cafe plate? That's Lizzie's, by the way. And there you guys have it. That's what I'm having for breakfast today. Talk to y'all later. So here's my lunch today, guys. It's romaine lettuce with some chicken breast and some sliced green olives with some ranch dressing on it. It's, it's a very plain, simple salad. And it tastes pretty good. I like it. Okay, guys. Hi. It is. Whew, my back is. I'm trying to massage a muscle in my back. Kind of relieve some of the pressure. So it's Thursday afternoon. You guys saw what I had for lunch. It's almost two o'clock. And I'm at work. Whew. So far today, I seem to be doing a little bit better. Um, I walked last night. Um, I recorded it, but I decided to delete it because it just wasn't good quality, you know, video. Um, and I was, you know... I was quite upset last night during my during my walk and I was off and on crying a lot and I just just didn't feel like really sharing that uh you know stuff going on in my life I'm I'm not ready to talk about yet um Lizzie's got stuff going on in her life on the other side of her family and um i have stuff going on in my life where um somebody that's like a mom to me is dying and just a lot happening over the past few days and then before that my friend dying and you know always feels like you know when the holidays are coming that's when the floodgates open you know so 
and with, you know, I'm ridiculed and pain all over my body with tingling and numblingness and and I'm just trying to stay you know positive you know because when I think positively you know I'm better, you know, I'm better when I think positive, you know, so I'm just trying to ignore all the, the negativity, you know, and, um, I'm trying to like push away any, you know, possible drama that could be coming into my life which I know is going to come within a matter of days and and I'm really trying not to let that get to me so it felt really good to you know, walk last night and I got a lot off of my mind but like I said, you know, just the quality of it wasn't good so I am um, staring at my aquafina bottle <laughs> by the way this is my third bottle of water today so I'm doing good on that. <laughs> so, okay. I got to go back to work. My systems look like they're finally coming back up. So I got to go back to work. Whew. Hey, hey guys. Whew. I'm home now from DoorDash and from um, taking my friend to see her mom. Um, I can't remember what I told you guys in the last clip, but my friend's mom is dying and she's in um, palliative care, which um, is a step above hospice. They didn't want to put her in hospice because they're not ready to give up on her. Um, and they're not ready to accept that she's ready to go. It was very hard down there. Um, I didn't get to go into the room to see her because we got there too late. So only one of us could go in for just a few minutes. It can only be one person at a time for half an hour or to an hour. So, um, I wanted my friend to see her mom, you know, so I'm going to try again here in a few days to get down there in time. So, but I'm trying to stick true to my word here with my walks. So here it is almost midnight and I'm out getting a walk in. Uh, so I can at least say I got some exercise in today uh, I had to door dash for a few hours because I got to make a car payment and then I had to you know uh, work towards getting the uh, money together for the car repair so um, so I had to work <laughs> so um, prior to my walk tonight, I had somewhere over 3,000 steps. Let me see what I'm at. Um, 4,340. So, I'll get, I don't know how many steps I'll get in on this walk. I'm only doing 
roughly about a mile. I'm easing my way back into it. After this week, I'll really kick it up. So Lizzie and I were supposed to go to Magic Kingdom tomorrow night, but I think I'm gonna cancel that and reschedule it for Monday. <laughs> um, simply because I need to work, you know. Plus, with my friend's mom being so ill, I wanna be close by if something happens because I want to, I wanna be there in her final moment. So I, I wanna be there for my friend. Uh, they were there for me um, when my dad was passing. They were there at the hospital and they weren't there for my mom because my mom went so quickly. They couldn't get there in time, but they were there after and really want to be there for them. Really do. So I'm trying to also be a sounding board for them, listen to their thoughts on things, I'm trying to give them some insight on how to handle. These are very tough times. They're making decisions that they don't want to have to make. And they're not getting along. And there's a lot of regret and resentment. And I'm trying, I'm trying to be there and be like Switzerland, just somebody listening, you know, but neutral, you know. And I'm trying to get them to stop arguing for their mother's sake because I think that's the reason why their mother hasn't passed on. It's because they won't stop fighting. So the mother can't go peacefully with that happening. So I'm trying to I'm trying to be there for them. And it's hard because we got to the hospital today, the center that she's at, and the moment I walked in there, I started to fall apart because I was just overwhelmed. I knew what kind of place that was. And I just wanted to be I wanted to keep it together and I couldn't. I I told my friend I had to go to the restroom and then and then she told me that she was going to go upstairs. And I said, "Well, I'm going to wait down here for you cuz I can't go up there." So, as she got into the elevator, I went to the restroom and I got in the restroom and as soon as I got through the doors, I just lost it. Because I feel like I'm losing my mom all over again. Oh my God, I'm warm. I am not even in my workout clothes. I am in my shirt from today, obviously, and my jeans. <laughs> So, and I got my, uh, my, uh, my groupie back there, Jasper. Hey, baby. Hello, baby girl. She's following me. So, who? okay, I need some water. Jasper. Oh, my God, my hair. Look at my hair. Yeah. Whew. I was in and out of my car a lot tonight. Because I'm not staying out as late. 
as I've been doing the DoorDash, I'm only making a small fraction of what I typically can make, you know. Um, so tonight I only made $53. And I'm used to making, when the money's good, when it's busy, uh, when people are really ordering between DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Postmates, I'm used to making 150 a night. But I'm used to not coming home until 1 o'clock in the morning. So, and I have not been making that. I'd love to. Oh, would I ever love to? Because I love being, I love working in my car. I do. So, Jasper! Oh. All right, so, whew, my back is starting to hurt. That's my sign that, that's my sign that it's time for me to start be heading back to my house and um, take some leave and get relaxed and get ready for bed yeah nice hot shower and let the hot water hit my back and just whew. it's almost friday technically it's six minutes away until friday and then saturday's coming and then sunday and then another week starts so, and, um, Monday, I am going to go get my blood work done, hopefully, if I have the money for it, so they can see if I am diabetic or not, so, um, and then in three weeks, I go back to the doctor, uh, and I'm hoping by then my weight will be down. So I'm hoping, hoping I have some good results for them. Um, and I also, uh, need to, um, what I need to do? I need to call the hospital and arrange to get testing done for, to get x-rays and scans done of my body. Um, they want me to go through the hospital to get it done. So I have to get that taken care of. It's one thing at a time. <laughs> so, but at least I'm making steps in the right direction. Yep. So whew, it's so nice and quiet out right now. Mm -hmm. So nice and quiet. Okay, guys. Oh, um, what I have for dinner tonight? I, um, because I was with my friend, uh, we went to Wendy's. I was good though. I was very good. I got the son of a baconator without the bread. And I had them put some guacamole on it. And that was it. And then I had a few boiled peanuts for a snack. They're high in sodium, but they're a little low in calorie and they're very low in carbs. So I had them and I'm walking them off right now. I also <laughs> managed to only drink two sodas today. I had a cup of um, the diet sweet tea. Yeah, it doesn't taste all that good. And fifth bottle of water. So I'm doing good. All right, guys.
still following me. There she is. Where's that baby? Oh, now she's ahead. Okay. We are going to finish the walk home. Then I'm going to take my leave, like I said, and let the hot water beat on my back. And I'm going to go from there. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right? Like what you see, you know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe, share, comment, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Love you. Bye. <laughs> oh, wait. Selfie.